Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. First day of summer. As you can see, we're in the grass field fertilizing it. The grass is ready to be cut. It's full grown. But i got to put the third state of fertilization on it before we do cut it. And I'm kind of waiting for uh, the wet crop signal to be kind of gone. I don't know if we can mow grass when the crops are wet or not. I never really tried it or not, so I'm not sure. But it should be somewhat of a decent day for cutting grass. And if you watched last episode, you should know by now, we got a lot of grass to cut today. <laughs> a lot. But we're starting up here first because all of our equipment is up here. Also being the first day of summer, the, the test process for the chicken mod has begun. I removed all the eggs out of the chicken coop. They're in my inventory. And the chickens are now quote unquote breeding. I did put some straw in there for them to breed. So when the end of summer comes, we'll see how many chickens we got. Starting with a, you know, minus the 100. And we'll see where you make more profit in selling eggs or making chickens. I have no idea. And I think I'm fertilizing an area that I've already fertilized. So let's go back over here. So, yes, today what we're doing is we got to mow this field first. Uh, then I'm going to tet it up and row it up. We won't bale it just yet. But uh, yeah, we'll mow it, tet it, row it, and then we'll bring the John Deere down with the mower and the New Holland will follow down with the windrower and we'll start mowing the big field. And that is something we will have to pick up today because it's grass, it's seasons, you leave it overnight, we're going to lose a lot of it, if not all of it. I can't quite remember on seasons on grass overnight how much disappears but for now I'm going to bring back the new hull and drop off the fertilizer and we'll pick up the tether so after we get done mowing the grass with the John Deere we can tet up the grass and then windrow it up like I said shouldn't take too long I kind of took care of the animals before recording on the last day of spring just so that I wouldn't have to deal with them today. That sounds kind of wrong the way I said. I don't want to deal with the animals. Uh, I just didn't want to be stuck in mowing grass and also seeing like, hey, your sheep need water and your cows need this or that. And I'm trying to keep the health of the cows up just because their time of the year is coming up. Okay, so let's drop that. I did also fill up the power food mixer, so we are completely out of hay at this point. We have zero hay. Well, the sheep have actually a couple bales still. Fast for all the hay down by the moo cows. That is all gone. The power food mixer took it all. I may have to speed up some time a little bit more, but maybe I'll try mowing the grass when it's quote-unquote wet to see if I can. And if not, what we'll do is uh, fast forward time until the wet crop signal is gone, then we can mow the grass. Uh, i probably not going to show, show myself mowing the grass up here because, well, we got plenty of grass to mow today, so you'll see it at some point. Let's see if we can start mowing. Actually, before I do. Yeah, so it did take the third state of fertilization. Uh, this, this is a field down here that we will be doing later on. Just bought it yesterday. And hopefully after I get done mowing it, the it won't need plowing anymore. If that makes sense. Uh, what was I doing here? Alright, uh, let's fire this bad boy up.
Lower that down. And I think it's going to let me mow the grass while it's wet. So if that's the case, I'm going to slow down time because I need all the time today to make sure we get to pick up that grass. Yes, it's going to let me mow the grass while it's wet. I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess it is. So, I want to mow this field. I'll bring it back when I'm just about done tedding the grass to make hay. And then we'll windrow it up and we'll bring all this stuff down to the big field because that's that's the big job today. we got to mow that, windrow it up in big sections, pick all the grass up and bring it to the BGA. So, I'll bring it back shortly. Well, I did learn something. You can't tether the grass while the wet symbol is up because it doesn't turn into hay. It'll spread it out and everything, but it stays grass. So <laughs> don't try tedding your grass until the wet crop signal, signal is gone. But uh, we're finishing up the field for tedding it into hay. And like I said, we'll get the wind drawer because we're going to need it anyways for down below. We'll bring that back here. We'll roll this up at least. And uh, we'll grab the John Deere New Holland, head down to the big field and start that process. I turned the speed down to one. Because I'm sure it's not, it probably won't take us long to cut the field. I don't know, real time, maybe half an hour. But to actually load up in the loading wagon and bring it to the BGA and do all that stuff that may take a little bit longer I don't know how much we're gonna get how many trips we'll make being a 50,000 liter capacity I'm not quite sure I was looking at some mods and there was a couple mods out there and I was looking at them like uh, it's not my style yeah there's a loading wagon out there that hold 200,000 liters it also rows it up before it picks it up. But I think the machine only costs like 30 grand. I'm like, really? Okay. <laughs> and it only needed like 100 horsepower to tow it. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. I mean, I don't mind using mods and being a little bit unrealistic. But that was uh, just a little bit out of my realm. At least now we got some hay again. I, I didn't think I was going to use all the hay for the total mix rations. Or power food, whatever you want to call it. But I kept filling up the machine and it kept taking like, it's going to take all of my hay. And it did. Just waiting for that to be folded up before I go barreling to the trees. So I'm going to go bring this back, I'm going to grab the wind drawer, head back to this grass field, wind, you know, get that up in a nice little rose for us for later on, probably the next episode. I did notice our fields look like they are quote unquote ready for harvest, but really they're not. Although I will double check our map just to make sure. I can't believe I said I took care of the animals. I can't believe the cows are getting close to needing water, but they should be fine for most of the day. Uh, let's see if I can back this in a zillion times. Having this other shed here, it's making me zoom in and out when I don't want to. Yep, that shed is driving me nuts, zooming in and out like that. Stop it. That's good enough. Now, I did check the power rating on this wind drawer, and this new hauling should be have no... Well, I shouldn't say no problem hauling it. So, I'm going to head back on a wind drawer up that field, and I'll bring it back when uh, we get a train going down to lower field. So, I'll see you in a second.
Getting our ducks all lined up in a row. Ha ha ha. Um, yep, we're just about finishing up the field. So we can get some hay bales later on. Like I said, it's going to be a busy day. I did check on our fields because by looking at them, it looks like they're ready for harvest, but they're not ready for harvest. Thank God. Uh, well, you know, I say that in a couple ways. You know, I'm glad I don't because that's more work I'd have to do soon. But also that would have meant we would have got some money. I mean, yeah, we're going to need that money either way. But no, they're not ready. Uh, the reason I'm also glad they're not ready because I want to buy those other fields as well. As well. And that's 150 grand, which we don't have, nor can I borrow. We need to really get down there and mow that field and get that to the BGA to start getting into silage. But, uh, yeah, that will come. It, it will come. I'm just getting anxious to do it, just because I don't like sitting here with... Well, if you need to buy something right now, we really can't. And we do need to buy stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do the BGA with belt, uh, the conveyor belts or do I want to do it with a front loader. But I got a day or so to think about it. But right now this field should be all set for the later on in-game day to bail up. Right now, I hope uh, Follow Me cooperates here. Says it is. I hope, though, Follow Me doesn't try to go into that tree. Nope, he didn't. Or she, whoever. I do have to watch my speed because I do believe no actually the New Holland can go faster than the John Deere so I don't have to worry about him getting left behind so we're going to mosey on down to the big field and we'll see you down there here we are at the big uh, grass field and I didn't come on the fence, I should have, but here we are, we're going in. And here is our money maker, for now. So now, the only thing I didn't check is the working width of the mower to that of the wind drawer. Uh, so let's unfold that, lower that. And now we'll unfold that, lower that. The other thing I'm going to do That's not changing the working width. Uh, is it because I got the other machine on follow me and it's just messing it up? Alright, you know what? I won't use that at all. So, let's unfold this. Turn that on. And let's start having some fun. Let's see if... Uh, let's see if we got this working just right. Yeah, so it looks like that working width is just good enough for us. 
Now, if I had a third tractor, I could get the uh, forge wagon picking up the grass as we go along, but you know what? This will be fine. Instead of just going up and down, I may do circles around the field. But as you can see, I'm going to leave it at one times the speed. And it's at 9.30. So you can see, you'll, you'll, we'll see how long this field takes me to mow it up and, you know, thank you for the mod, follow me, because, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, well, how fast they're going. They're going at a decent rate. I may have to stop just once or twice because I think the working speed on that is a little bit slower than the mowing speed. So I don't want to get too far ahead. But all this will be brought to the BGA which is just around the corner. We will pick that up in this episode. And bring it to the BGA as well. It's going to be a long recording episode. Uh, <laughs> but the video may be... I don't know how I want to break this up just yet because what I need to do is the reason why I want to bring it out to the BGA in this episode after I get on the recording because then I got to compact it down and cover it up. And we kind of need the cash. I want to make sure we can sell that in a day or so. It's like, it's like a day and a half or two days. And then also I want to go to the bioprocessing plant, bring the artificial fertilizer, and put it in the storage down here, and we can start fertilizing this field, and we'll actually start getting a good amount of grass to bring to the BGA. I wish I could remember how far Follow Me can get behind before it, it stops. But I definitely want it to stay on follow me because it'll save me a lot of time, obviously. And it's not like the new Holland is underpowered for it, it's just a, it's just a working speed for the equipment. Now technically I could mow you know what? We're going to cut across. We're going to get it all. May as well. Why not? And this is the gate I wanted to come through. But what I'm going to do is I'll allow the new Holland let that able to catch up we'll come over here and close this gate because this is the gate I don't want to come through yeah the new hollow is doing fine it's just the working speed is going to kill us a little bit now in the future when we get the big chrome M it's a big chrome M right correct me if I'm wrong uh, we won't have to windrow it up because that just leaves one uh, trail behind it. So we won't have to windrow it up. So probably every time I make a lap around the field, I'll just have to stop a little bit, let the New Holland catch up because I don't want to reset the Follow Me program. I mean, it's not hard to do it, but allow me to take a break. Maybe I'll get him to get a drink once in a while because it's getting to be a hot day here. So I know I had to stop a little bit. That took us, what, four minutes to make one path around. So yeah, it was roughly about 9.30 when we started. So when I bring it back, you can see how long we've been at it. So for you, it's going to be a second. For me, well, we'll see how long it was. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. So we're coming up on 40 minutes of mowing this field. 
and we're getting close to being done. At least mowing the field damage. You still got to pick this stuff up. Because in seasons, grass will decompose. So I do need to pick this up in the in-game day. But I am going to do it in this episode because I kind of want to... I'm anxious to see how much grass we actually get out of this field. Now the production of it is going to be kind of low because right well, as I'm mowing it thinks it needs to be plowed. So there's 10% that we're losing. There's only one stage of fertilization on it so we're losing two stages which means we're losing 60%. Uh, so in total we're losing 70% production on the field because of the state that it's in. So when we mow it again at the beginning of fall, we'll get much more grass out of this because I am going to fertilize it. And when we look at the map here in a second, we'll see that once you mow the grass, it doesn't need to be plowed anymore. I'm not really sure why it works that way in seasons on grass fields, but it does. So yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> and we'll deal with it that way. Then we'll have to see how much we get from selling the silage. We need the cash because we have a lot of things still to buy this season. Like $150,000 worth of fields, a new seed drill, and yes, a bigger tractor for the seed drill. We're going to call that good for us. Follow me will finish up shortly. Let me just make sure I'm out of his way before... Where are you turning? You're turning right there. Alright, so we can turn that off. Fold that up. Roll that up, and up. So we'll just call it 45 minutes. I mean, I could have mowed it probably in 40 minutes, just that with, I had to wait for the follow me. The windrower to catch up. Oh, wait a minute, anyway, I don't want to keep windrowing either. Uh, turn that off and fold it up. Follow me, New Holland. Now, this is the gate I want to go through. Don't have to worry about traffic. Let's open up this gate here. Turn off the beacons. So yeah, you can see all of our hay is gone. But luckily we mowed that field today, so we will have hay again shortly. We'll probably do it the next episode. And shift F. Uh, control F. So now we're gonna bring the new Holland up to the up to the farm itself. We're gonna drop this off. I'm going to need to hook up the seed drill to it. And uh, the new Holland's going to go ahead and start seeding those two fields. While we're picking up the grass. So I need to get this all situated. And uh, we'll see you shortly. Alright, our new Holland is sowing some soybeans. Now the temperature... If we look here, soybeans, it needs to be 55. We're at 54. I don't believe I'm going to get screwed this time. <laughs> I believe we're going to be okay. 
I think the next day would be just fine. But while we're here, I do want to check on the chickens. Next chicken in two hours. We still got just a hundred chicken. I won't say just a hundred chickens, but we got a hundred chickens. So yeah, they're not making eggs. So I'll have to see how that goes. We'll check on them again in a while. All right. Let's uh, drop off the mowers in here. Now the question is, you can't lower this one because it unfolds. So you just kind of get just drop it. Usually if you're on even ground, it'll just drop straight up. So... Yeah, that should be just fine. Alright, John Deere. Hopefully you can handle this 50,000 liters while it's running when you're operating it. So let's head back into our grass field where all of our money's just sitting here. And if we lower that. Now we're going to see how much of a yield we have. So it's picking up at a decent rate. Yeah, I'm glad I sold the one that we had because that, that would have been a lot more trips to the BGA. More time wasted. I'm just trying to see. So we're already 20, well, 25% full one way up. So it's filling up rather well, but not too fast where it's like, oh my God, it's going to be a lot of trips. But then again, also you want to do a lot of trips because that means that's more that will pick up more chaff to put in. Which means more silage, which means more money. Better put my beacons on because we'll be going across the main road a couple times. Like I said before, we lost pretty close to 70% yield on this field because it needed to be plowed which now it doesn't and there's only one stage of fertilization on it so yeah we lost uh... seventy percent that's why i said before yeah seventy percent is what we lost on yield which is a lot just about full on the first trailer so it seems like we're going to get a few trailers today So I'm already thinking at least 10 more loads, so we're going to get at least half a million liters of grass into the BGA. I don't want to say easily, but I, that shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. So now it becomes a fun task of driving back and forth, dumping this in the BGA. Compacting it won't bother me too much. I'm not going to record me compacting it. Maybe the beginning of it will record a little bit of it. We do have our beacons on. To let traffic know, uh, here we come because I'm not stopping.
doesn't seem like the BGA is that far when you take a glance at it, but at least we don't have to go uphill or anything like that, so we should be all set. Don't get stuck on that little corner piece. Alright, I don't need to ride the edge that much because I will get stuck on it. I think right there is going to be good enough. And the process has begun. So I'm going to get cracking away in this field. It's going to take me a while, I think, but we'll get her done. And I shall see you in a while. That was a quick second for you, for me. If you remember, I think we started at 20 after 10. It is close to noon. So, yeah, it's an hour and 40 minutes that I'm at so far. Pick up the grass in this field. But this should be the last load. And the only thing I keep thinking as I kept going and going and going, I said, yeah, next time, if we fertilize it all the time that we should, it'll be 70% more grass which means a lot longer to, <laughs> to empty this field of grass. Which is a good thing because the more you got, you know, the more chaff, uh, silage you'll get, which means more money when you sell it at the biogas uh, plant. Just that uh, I may have to break that up in different days doing it because this is taking me a while. But I am curious to see how much we end up with in the pit but I can I know I kind of already know you kind of don't because you haven't been here so <laughs> now remember I said what did I say like a half million easy hmm yeah so we'll see when we get back to the pit which is very shortly and then I gotta compact it I mean it's one percent done I can tell you that much And there we go. That's the field done. Now, if we look at the map, first of all, our new hall is done seeding those two fields. So our six fields up here are done with seeding. But if we come to this part here, you can see that the field doesn't need to be plowed anymore. Yeah, I got little specks from where we didn't mow the grass. So we kind of gained 10% there already. But that will be in about six more in-game days. Uh, early fall is when the grass will be fully grown again. Sometime around there. So let's head to the BGA. Drop, well, empty this into the pit. I'll drop off the trailer. I'm calling it an episode because I've been recording for a few hours now. Uh, I probably should have broken this up in a couple of episodes. But I'm too anxious to see how much we get in the pit. And I'm kind of excited to start selling this stuff so we can get some money back, pay off our loan. I don't, I don't even remember how much of a loan I got right now, but I think it's 200 grand at least. Now, I was tempted to try to... Well, not try to. I've done it many times before, but emptied the pit with the bucket loader. A front load uh, bucket loader. With the new, I think I got the new Holland mod. But... We're not going to have the cash for that, I don't think. So I'll probably have to do the conveyor belts, which is, you know, a lot cheaper. 
but maybe next time we'll have the front loader. Conveyor belt system works great. I have never had a problem with it. Once you get it set up, you just have to move it once in a while. All machines and tools from JCB are currently on sale. Another 30 hours. Okay, wait a minute. How much? Isn't there a JCB front loader? Ouch and ouch. So it's 163, but I don't think I have. I don't think I have that much to borrow. Yeah. I mean, if we were to max out our loan. Oh, wait, how much of a loan can I get? What, when did this change? All right. I, didn't, I thought it was maxed out 300,000 is because we got more equity into the farm. I could borrow that much more. Interesting. I might as well pay off as much as I can. We're not paying that much. How much interest are we paying? Where's the interest? Yeah, so we're only paying $1,000 interest, which is not much. So maybe... I do like the new Holland front loader, but the JCB is rather nice as well. I probably shouldn't have repaid that much of a loan because we're going to lose, probably going in the hole overnight because we're not selling milk overnight either. So as we're backing in, you can now see the chaff level is at 65, no, 650,000. And with that, we are now at 670, well to say 675,000 liters. So if we properly do the field, we're going to get 70% more. So we'll just round that out. It's going to be pretty close to a million, easily, easily a million. All right, so the question is, we'll drop that off there. One percent compacted. Oh, is it going to make it up? So for a while, as long as I get it flat, flat enough, so you can see I've gone over a few times and nothing has changed yet. But now that I'm getting the, now it's kind of like chaff up here. It's getting rather flat. The chances of me getting stuck are less and less. Wow, this is going to take me a while. I was like, yeah, hey, let's just make sure we can go up 1%. Hey, I'm up to 2%. What I may actually do, since it's going to take me that long, I may just set up a course play thing to where it goes back and forth because it's going to take me forever to do it like this and I, I'll get tired of short distance but we're up to 3% but uh, that is going to do it for today guys it's been a long episode for me I don't know how long it's going to be when I edit it and cut it down but we'll well you'll see it for yourself and I'll see you later on so but that's going to do it for today, because I'm exhausted. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And like always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.